took my husband to the park today. I believe that we may have found another one. Say I wanted to take you all on a first date. How much should I spend on it? Their answer is probably going to surprise a lot of you. Whatever you can afford on the date. Doesn't matter to me. Do have any expectations? No, I just want you to be thoughtful with whatever you put together. Excellent. I'll pick you up. Let's get slushies at Sonic drive through Okay, that's fine. We have a conversation. We talk. We get to know each other. I'm fine with that. It's almost like that's the purpose of a first date, isn't it? We could watch Black Mirror on my phone yep. and prop it up on the dashboard. It's a memory. It's an experience. I'm fine with it. Love it. I don't know. I think that's what the industry promotes, social media, everything we watch promotes. But I don't know. I can't answer for them. I just know kind of what I've been taught, what I value. So it's kind of what my answer is. What gave you that mentality? I don't know. I think if you have these expectations of things you can't always control, then it just gives you more stress and anxiety. So why worry? Just kind of let it happen and see where it goes. I wake my husband up with a massage and coffee every single morning and every single night I'm scratching his um, scalp and like giving him a back massage until he falls asleep. It's important that he falls asleep first. And I would say something that's romantic that he does for me. Well, since I do all of the cooking, it's nice when he takes me out for dinner because it's like a, a little break and it's just special. And then also even just while we're here in Miami, he's kind of like my little bodyguard. He puts his arm around me and just making sure that I'm protected. That's what's really romantic. My man just got to mow on the lawn. And I got him Starbies. He might not appreciate it as much as I would appreciate it, but let's see. Let's get the reaction. He's going to be like, what the f*** is this? Oh, um. <laughs> Starbies. What the f*** is this? I knew you were going to say that. 70, that's crazy. It's actually not that impressive. What? It's not that impressive. Yeah, it is. To me, it is. You know what they say? They say comparison is the thief of joy. You compare yourself to others and you'll never be happy. So that's impressive weight. Who cares what other people live? What if I'm not satisfied? Well, I mean, you can push yourself, but you can't do negative self-talk. <laughs> Comfortably. Oh, we are comfortable. That's comfortable. So a family of three could survive off of just 40k a year? Yeah. 
It's just not going to be a lavish lifestyle. But this economy sucks. <laughs> so you're just making it work. Yeah. Some chicken wings, some beef, and broccoli, some vegetables. Thank you, babe. It smells really good. It looks good. I hope you enjoy it. What you got? Uh, I just got some uh, broccoli. Pick it up. I just got broccoli. You just got broccoli? Yeah. Put something on the broccoli. Where's your protein? What are you talking about? What you you just eating broccoli? Why you only got so broccoli you want to eat? I don't want to pick you. Girl, I want to make sure you're broccoli. What about you? You can share this. Like, why'd you get me two, two meals? Basically, two protein wraps and you're on broccoli. So yesterday, my husband asked me if I wanted to go to Walmart. And I said, no, honey, I'm so tired. I just want to relax today. And he kind of put his head down and said, well, all right. Well, I'll see you when I get back. And I love you. I waited a good 10 minutes and I know dang well he just wanted to be with me. And I called him and I said, honey, I think I do need something from Walmart. No, and I didn't. I said, how far are you? And he said, only about 10 minutes. You want me to pick you back up? And I said, please do. And I walked outside and I stood in the driveway waiting on my husband to come and get me just like we did when we first got together. And seeing that smile on his face, I knew I'd made the right call, literally. See, with my husband, it's about quality time. And although I get exhausted from day to day, I know my husband needs that from me. And I don't ever want to miss an opportunity going to Walmart with him, even if it's just to Walmart, because one day I'm going to miss that. You know, it's about communication and listening about what, what the other person needs from you. And he needed me yesterday and I had to give myself to him. That's my marriage for you. You know, when you get with a guy, if he cannot financially take care of all of your bills, if he cannot keep you in labels, if he cannot get your nails and your hair done and take you on vacation, there really is no point in even being with him. And if you think like this, you're a part of my problem. Talking about running them pockets. See what you can get. Not thinking. How about I create myself to a financial security, create myself to a level that I can date who I want to because money is not an issue. If you're factoring money when you're getting with somebody, you know what you are? You're not a partner, you're a parasite. I know you're gonna be mad that I'm even suggesting this and you're probably not gonna want to, but it's not an option. I would like to pay the bills for the next six months, all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, baby, you know. No. It's not negotiable. Baby, I'm not going to allow that to happen. Well, what if I told you I already paid them in advance? Why would you do I that? I talked to the leasing agent. I'm I very thankful, but I'm just, baby, mm -hmm. you're just a girl. I am just a girl, but I'm a girl with money. And if I can do something to help my man, why wouldn't I? Wow. Well, I have something to tell you. What? Uh, I don't have no money to get us no food. What do you mean you don't have no money to get us no food? I just don't have it. I just checked my account and it said one dollar. I mean, I can get us some food, but we don't even have to go out to eat, baby. We can go inside. We can go eat something like a cook you, a home cooked meal. I don't really care about that. All I care about is being with you 24-7 and doing what I can for you. Are you sure? I'm positive, babe. I feel bad, though. You shouldn't feel bad, babe. I told you, no matter what, I'm going to always have us through thick air, no matter what. Do you understand me? Mm-hmm. I, I love us. If you're down, I'm going to help you. I'm down, you go help me. I'm mad. I'm not mad, babe. What would I be mad for? Because I only got a dollar in my account, and I said I was going to eat. That's what babe. I don't always have it. If, if I don't have it... You have it, like I said, and if you don't have it, I have it. All right. I love you, and I'm going to always be here for you, and I'm going to help us no matter what the situation may be.